All right, happy 2020, guys. I am back with um, a reading for you guys. And today's topic is going to be about what your loving, wise, enlightened, peaceful um, ancestor, what their message is for you for 2020. So what they see is um, the major themes gonna be going on in 2020 um, and kind of like the details of um, what's going to be happening, okay? So we have here, we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. So guys, go ahead and click the timestamp below in the description box. And I'm just going to go ahead and apologize for any background noise that's going on because I am doing this um, recording near my window. So, yeah, apologize for that. But go ahead and meditate, pick your pile, and we'll go ahead and see what your ancestors have to say for this new year, all right? All right, hi my pile one guys, how are you guys doing? Um, let's go ahead and see for your reading what your ancestor has to say about your new year in 2020, okay? So this card here is going to be um, the energies of the ancestor we're connecting to, okay? And for my pile one guys, this ancestor, um, majority of you, I feel like comes from your maternal side. So uh, any of your maternal lineages, this ancestor is, um, I feel like they are male for a lot of you. Um, and there could be others of you, it's a female, but for majority of you, I feel this ancestor we're connecting to is a male. And they are gonna be on your mother's side, okay? Um, I feel like this ancestor is very connected to nature, okay? Whether this is 500 years ago they lived, to a thousand, etc. Um, wherever they were in time, they were very connected to nature. And I just saw a deer spirit animal, okay? Um, so this is letting me know that they are very graceful. Um, their energy is very graceful. Um, there's a gentleness about them, a kindness. So let's go ahead and just see what spirit animal they are embodying in today's reading. And we have the Salmon. All right. Put that right over here. So the Salmon spirit. So this ancestor is able to really navigate the waters of life. Um, I think they have the tenacity to go against the flow of life um, through all its events and tribulations, but I feel like they also know how to kind of just let go and let, you know, the currents take them wherever they, you know, let them be. So I feel like this strength of theirs will greatly um, be something that you guys can call upon um, in 2020, okay? Whether blockages or obstacles you're facing, they can help you um, ease into it, um, let you know when to let go or when to push forward is kind of the message I am getting, okay? But yeah, they have a very fatherly energy though with the Salmon here. Um, yeah, and I feel like they are very intuitive instinctive um they could definitely be a water sign with salmon definitely can say they are a pisces or they have pisces in their chart sun moon rising etc but um let's go ahead and see what your ancestor got for you for your the major themes of 2020 okay so what are the major themes so we have owl here 
And we have the Tree of Life. So yeah, guys, I feel like they, like I said, they are very kind to nature. We have the Tree of Life. And they are very wise. They are very wise and loving. So, um... Okay. So, your ancestor, my pile one, wants that you guys get more connected to your roots. So, whether that means it's them, or family, or the culture, whatever that is running through your DNA and genetics, um, they want you to get, kind of get more in touch with that, okay? And that really could be through um, your connection with nature. A lot of you definitely will say, yes, I love nature, I connect with it. Others of you may not be really sure or confused or say, eh, I don't know. I mean, nature's nice, but yeah, it's pretty, but I don't really have a spiritual connection with nature. Well, think again, guys, because I'm getting that you guys really actually in 2020 are going to be feeling more of that connection and with the owl here i'm being so drawn to this is that there is this message there is this wisdom um that i feel like you guys are definitely gonna be learning in 2020 and this perception that is going to kind of awaken you guys um i feel like it's going to be a major major shift Okay, and how you view life. Um, it's kind of, I kind of see it as like you guys are at a certain branch on a tree, but your perception is going to branch off. And yeah, it's going to, you guys are going to branch off because the, the branch you're currently on, leaves are dry and dying and it serves its purpose. And I feel like your ancestor is, your ancestor is letting you know it's time to let that go, okay? It's time to go on this new trajectory, this new perspective, and the way of thinking. Um, and there are leaves blooming on this other branch, okay? So I definitely getting that um, being more perceptive, using that intuition, okay? Being able to see through the night like an owl, okay? Through the illusions of life i feel like that is something that they want you to tap into okay but they are definitely pushing you forward through this path okay this ancestor now as a little disclaimer i just want you know your ancestors messages um take it with a grain of salt guys because in the end, I personally believe that although I highly advise to listen to guidance from, you know, very peaceful, loving, high vibrational beings such as your ancestor I'm channeling with, do not, um, do not just eat it whole, okay? Chew a bit on it, um, see if it really resonates with you, um, use that owl intuition and make the choice for yourself, okay? I just want to put a disclaimer out there because... Um, some people might not take this with a grain of salt, but yeah. Okay, so let's get our tarot cards out here. Kind of just to have some more, you know, clarification and, um, other stuff. So yeah, look at this, guys. Okay, so as I said, new perceptions. We have Ace of Swords. So this is definitely talking about that intellectual perception, percept um way of thinking and so this is letting me know there's gonna be some sort of epiphany in 2020 um there is this kind of new insight new way of seeing the world seeing yourself and maybe even seeing the circumstances you are currently in that um your salmon ancestor kind of wants to let you know okay guys and i definitely feel like i said with the salmon helping you this ancestor you know how they can fight or f um, swim upstream and they're symbolizing the, you know, the obstacles and challenges in your life. We have the five of wands here, which is definitely obstacles um, and conflict. Okay, so um, 
we you know what but the king of wands here though this is the archetypal energy of that very you know empowered uh, masculine energy right so as i said guys this is another confirmation for me that this ancestor connecting to is definitely a male i feel um on that maternal side of family so on your mother's side um this also indicates to me that they could also be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But in any case, 2020, um, with this new fresh perspective and insight, I feel like this imagery, I feel like you're going to have to go through, or as you guys have already been through, these obstacles and challenges and fights that have had to happen for you to gain that clarity in this new fresh perspective of seeing things. Um, so that is going to be a very interesting, um, I'm very interested to see what kind of new perspective you guys are going to get from these challenges, okay? But definitely, guys, stay grounded. This ancestor is making me feel very rooted in the earth, which is another meaning of the tree of life. It's to stay rooted so you can branch out even higher and not fall over from just any breeze or a storm that comes your way, okay? But definitely see you guys, you know, trying to come into this King of Wands energy, okay? And whether that be, you know, signifying, um, you know, more of your, like, your leadership qualities, um... Or just being able to be very still and centered in the midst of a storm. Um, these are kind of, you know, messages and advice from your, you know, your ancestor. And I just feel like I said, once again, call upon this ancestor. You don't even have to know his name. But if you do, then that's great. But if you don't... Um, just setting the intention out that you want their guidance, help, um, their energy. Whenever you are going through, you know, you know these obstacles, these challenges. And for a lot of you, these are involving people. I'm getting could be at work, could be with family. Um, this answer can definitely give you that fire um, and stillness and empowerment to help you through. But in the end, it is up to you. Okay to receive this guidance and blessing, all right? So that was my reading for you guys. Um, my pile one, Claire's. I hope this reading um, resonated with you guys. And you guys some guys got some insight to uh, 2020. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, um, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Um, you guys can subscribe, get that bell notification done so you guys can know when I have a new video uploading um, or not. And leave a comment down below. Let me know. Um, you guys can check back to this video maybe midway of January or of the year. And let me know what this fresh new perspective is. Maybe what challenges um, came up to make you realize that. I'm very interested to hear what you guys have to say okay and let me guys let, let me know if you know who this ancestor is or you guys have felt um his presence around you okay but in any case um i'm gonna leave that with you guys um i wish you guys you know a fulfilling happy um the best of the best of 2020 um and i send you guys peace and love and yeah take care guys
All right, hi, my pile two Claire's. Welcome to your reading. So let's go ahead and figure out, guys, what your ancestor um, has to say about um, this new year in 2020, okay? Um, okay, give me a moment, guys, channel a bit. So I'm connecting with a female ancestor, guys, and um, I feel like it is on your paternal side of family for most of you, okay? Um, she is, has a very interesting energy. She is very calm, but I feel like she has a great sense of humor and kind of like wittiness. Um, there is... A, a bit of slyness about her, but I mean that in a positive way. I just think it's kind of, kind of like, um, the way she, um, uses her humor, I guess. Not that she would, you know, she's very tricky or anything. But, um, yeah, she's very witty and she finds, like, little joys in life to kind of laugh about. And I feel like she kind of has that eye, you know, that parental eye that, kind of looks at the children messing around or when they're lying and they kind of don't say anything, but their eye lets you know that they know what you're up to and they kind of just giggle or chuckle about it and then walk away. That's kind of kind of like the energy I'm getting right now for um, you guys, my pal too, okay? But let's go ahead and see um, kind of um, with this card right here, what, you know, is kind of like th um, the spirit animal that embodies <laughs> their energy, okay? Ooh, we got the swan. So, yeah. So, the swan is a very feminine energy, guys. And as I said, this could be a female, not necessarily, but for most of you. And the swan is just beautiful. Um, the swan represents love. Um, there's something graceful about your ancestor. Um, and also transformative, too, okay? Um, and I feel they know, this ancestor knows how to take something that seems, um, a hindrance or let's just say a problem or something that's just kind of negative, um, in one perspective and really transform it or shift it to something that's funny or positive or just something knows how to make things lighter than it is. So I feel like they're really good at helping um, alleviate burdens or stress or tension um, in your life if you do choose to call upon this ancestor. So it's very interesting. But um, yeah, they're very loving. They're very calm, like I said. Um, there is a very peaceful energy about them, which I love. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what your ancestor, the swan ancestor energy, um, what she has to say about the major themes going on for your 2020, your year ahead. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what um, is going there. Ooh, we have the wind card. Okay, card 63. And then we have the spiral. All right. So she is letting me know, guys. Um, communication is definitely going to be um, a theme for you guys in 2020. And, you know, the, interestingly, since this ancestor has such a great humor and she's so witty, that makes so much sense why, um, for her, she sees this, um, energy being prominent in your, your year coming up. Um, you know, the wind card has also to do with intellect. And a lot of times, um, we forget that it takes a good sense of humor to kind of, you know, get us out of, you know, like those mental 
loops we put ourselves in. Um, when we're overthinking, sometimes just a great laugh or great chuckle can help us. And that could really just take a shift in the direction of your thoughts or the wind, you know? Um, just a shift in your perspective about the situation or yourself or really anything can bring that sense of humor into your life, I feel. Um, and I just feel like your mental energies is really showing up for 2020. So if you guys have been concerned about your mental health in any case, um, I definitely feel there's going to be growth in that, okay? With the spiral here, there's definitely some growth and evolution going on, okay? Um, and for those of you, and for others of you, this is going to be more about just you growing on a more deeper um, level, okay? I feel like for a lot of you, you guys are going to become more mentally strong, and sound and able to really start to notice um, kind of when you are overthinking and letting kind of like that monkey mind or monkey brain go on and on and have no control over it. You guys are going to start to step back, you know, be like that observer and that calm, cool, collected head to really dictate, you know, kind of thoughts that you want and don't want or that you guys are just going to watch it like it's wind. Okay, wash it like it's a breeze and let it just go and, you know, have it not like affect your day or your mood. Okay, so that is something that I'm kind of getting on um, for a lot of you guys. Okay. But I'm definitely seeing like with this hawk here, I don't know if this ancestor is always around you, but I definitely feel that they have come and visited you before. Definitely. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a confirmation, okay? Um, I f definitely feel like a lot of you, um, whether you're aware or not, you're very clear audience. So this means um, clear hearing, but this is one of the psychic senses of hearing voices, um, music, messages um, with our inner ear, okay? It's, it could be uh, quite as a whisper, loud as a thunder but usually i find that it's usually pretty quiet and still but this ancestor definitely talks to you guys i feel like when you guys are sleeping you guys can hear them if you guys are aware of that or not or maybe when you are kind of um let's just say meditating or kind of in that alpha brainwave state so when you're relaxed but still conscious that's when I feel like this ancestor does visit you and kind of likes to talk to you and stuff. So I definitely feel like um, if you guys are open to that, um, you guys will definitely hear more from this um, ancestor and her messages for you, okay? Okay. But yeah, another message I'm getting from her is that she wants you to kind of see um, how not just this year, 2020, but okay, let me rephrase this. She wants to let you know that 2020 is going to be a year where you're going to see all the patterns or a lot of patterns from your previous years you've lived in this life, all connecting and kind of coming together to form kind of a theme um, or the patterns of your life. So 2020 is going to be something that um, is going to be a year for you guys to really connect the dots and understand things about yourself and your life. Um, this could be about family upbringing, childhood, um, certain just key events, okay, that are going to start to make sense in um, the year 2020. But let's go ahead and take a look at our tarot cards for more kind of clarification, um, more details. So yes, guys, Eight of Swords. Um, as I said, for a lot of you who do have or know about your mental health, um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, that is going to be something in um, 2020 that is going to be prominent about, okay? So whether you guys are, you know, taking therapy or counseling 
you know, on prescription drugs or anything, um, or in just into self-help, really, and taking care of yourself, um, that's gonna definitely be a theme right here. And as I said, this ancestor is kind of like these butterflies, guys, um, that are kind of helping uh, these two people fly, okay? And as I said, this ancestor really helps alleviate the mental stress, the mental chatter, the mental blocks, um, and, you know, all those things, okay? And I feel like with the tower here being here, um, a lot of people are really scared of the tower card because it is kind of a dramatic energy, a dramatic um, major arcana. And why it is is because the tower comes when things that do no longer serve us that we are still in are completely abolished or completely removed from our life, okay? And these usually happen very unexpectedly, but unconsciously we always had a feeling or inkling that it would happen sooner or later because it felt unstable to begin with or during the sequence of our relationship or that part in our life. It felt unstable and that's why, you know, something from outside, the divine, spirit, um, life has come and is bringing, uh, the, you know, what seems like unexpected change into that situation, but really it, it is for the best, okay? And for a lot of you, this is not even going to be like a literal, you know, event in the external world that's going to be completely removed from your life. This could really just be about this, you know, the internal beliefs um, that you have you know, that have been conditioned with since childhood, like I said, by family, uh, by society, or just those inner beliefs that you keep repeating in your head that have built, you know, this tower that you guys could literally be stuck in like a princess waiting for, you know, the night to come save you. But you, you got to save yourself, okay? I mean, this ancestor, definitely someone to call upon to help save you because she is great, you know, at, um, at communicating with you and kind of shifting your perspective and lightening things. But um, yeah, you guys, you guys are in this tower of beliefs um, that are just really limiting your life and yourself. Um, so, you know, this tower energy is coming in and trying to get things to start moving, trying to get things to be clean and fresh and moving things that do not longer serve you. So you guys can really start to spiral into your true self, your essence in that center. Okay. Be in your center so uh, things don't affect you. And especially, I'm getting for a lot of you, people's opinions. I think my group too, you guys are very much care about what other people think of you or what they think about other things. I think you guys are very um, good listeners in a sense because you guys like to listen to other people and their opinions. But it does, just doesn't serve you, okay? It's just adding these unstable bricks upon you know your inner mental chamber or your space and um i just think with the nine of wands here you guys need to be more on guard um you guys have to be more able to stand up for yourself okay um Yeah, I'm getting that you guys need to be more proactive and more decisive. And it looks like with the way things are going in 2020, you guys will come to that. Um, but I'm definitely getting that things need to be relinquished. Things need to be cleansed and let go of on your, your mental space, okay? For in order you to grow. But she really wants to, your ancestor really wants to bring, um, you know, to focus upon this project 
um, could be a, you know an external project like a job or a lease or something. Um, this is of course general reading, so take whatever resonates, or you guys will know what you know this answer is talking about. But this could also be an internal project, which is you know really your self growth. Um, so she really wants to put that on the in this video, this message. And it's something that I feel you have been really like striving or wanting to do consciously or unconsciously. And I just feel like things needed to be destroyed or relinquished in order for you to really come to the end of that phase. Okay. To really complete that project, things need to be let go and done with. But definitely owning your mental space. Okay is something that I f definitely feel is the biggest thing I'm getting for you guys for 2020, my group 20. Um, battling those mental demons, okay? And not letting it control you, okay? Because 2020 is going to definitely be this journey spiraling back into your center where it is peace, love, and just inner knowing, okay? Because who you really are just knows. It doesn't think. Those are your thoughts. Your inner, know, your inner self just knows and is and bees. Okay? So, that was my reading for you guys. My group to Claire's. I hope this um, reading resonated with you guys. And if you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Um, you guys can subscribe and push that bell. So you guys can know when I upload a new video and um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this reading and I will see you guys back for the next video. All right. Bye. All right, hi, my pile three Claire's. Welcome to your 2020 reading. Um, and this is gonna be a reading uh, featuring your ancestor, okay? So give me guys a moment to channel um, your ancestor for the collective of pile three. Okay, so I am connecting to uh, two people, really, a male and a female. Um, for some of you, it's just going to be the female, and others for you, it's just going to be the male. But nevertheless, there's two ancestors coming through, okay? And um, this card, nevertheless, is going to embody kind of their energy, okay? The spirit animal, which is the jaguar. Wow. 
very powerful, okay? So this answer is coming through in this Jaguar energy, you know, which is, um, this Jaguar has ability to abolish fear and has this courage because the Jaguar is a predator. Top of the food chain in the tropics, um, hunting, okay? And this ancestor, I'm really getting that their eyes are very piercing. Um, their eyes can really see uh, 2020 or even better, okay? And that was not a pun. But yeah, um, they uh, this ancestor has very keen eyes and perceptive. And um, there is this leadership quality about them. Um, and they know what they want. You know, when they were living, they knew what they want. And even if they didn't, now they still know what they want. Um, they're very directional. Okay. Um, they're kind of serious in their energy I'm getting. Um, I really don't get that they're threatening like a lot of you would be if, you know, you saw a live jaguar in the jungle. Um, they're not really threatening in that sense. Um, I just think they are really... Uh, disciplined and good at waiting for things to happen and know when to go strike let's just say go take an opportunity okay so this is kind of like the energy i'm getting from this ancestor okay um i feel like this ancestor would be really great to call upon for like career decisions or just whenever you don't know or are not sure when to take action um, for any situation in life, really, whether it's love, um, career, um, anything, really. But yeah, this ancestor seems to be helping in more the big picture way of your life if you choose to receive their, um, their guidance, okay? But let's go ahead and see what major themes they are seeing for you in um, 2020, okay? Oh, so we got the drum. <gasps> and we got the jaguar. Ooh, I love when that happens. Look at that. That's not a coincidence. All right. Wow, okay, I'm just going to put it next to each other. Yeah, that's better. Wow, so that's really significant, guys, this Jaguar. So 2020, guys, theme, Jaguar. They, what a great ancestor to call upon, embodying the Jaguar to help with this theme of Jaguar. So yeah, I think, guys, for you, 2020, this is going to be the theme about abolishing your fears, okay? Taking action. Um, kind of being comfortable in your own darkness for a lot of you, which darkness, you know, has an equivalent of fear, um, but also really able to navigate the unconscious. So I feel like dreams are going to be very much something you guys are going to be interested in or um, more aware of. So dream journaling in 2020 would be really great. Um, and also feel like maybe some of you would want to uh, meet this ancestor when you are dreaming and sleeping. Um, they can help assist you and do some dream work and healing. Um, but they definitely, definitely, there is some fears or something that you guys are unsure about. Um, and I just heard spiritual awakening um, coming. And for some of you, okay? And for others of you, it's, 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 it's more, I'm getting, feeling with this energy more of momentum, okay? Um, just like the drum when you beat it right? Um, there is a rhythm and a momentum. And I feel like 2020, um, maybe you guys have been in a standstill, not really moving, uh, unsure about your situation. And it's 2020 is gonna be that time to really start moving. Um, and I feel like a lot of you may have issues with your own autonomy, your own identity, you know, your being an individual within a group or collective of this world, okay? And, you know, beating, you know, dancing to the beat of your own drum, 
But to be able to do that, you got to know the beat of your own drum, right? So listening to the own beat of yourself, you know, your own inner voice, um, your own, uh, you know, spirit, soul, um, radiating. I feel like that is something that's going to be a huge part in 2020 and able to really conquer those fears so you can start to walk and take action where you do want to go, okay? And sometimes, you know, with the Jaguar here, sometimes you just don't know where you want to go. But as they say, the best plan is no plan. So maybe you just guys just got to take a step in faith which is knowing that you don't know, okay? So 2020, you guys are gonna be asked to do that, okay? But um, let's go ahead and take a look at your tarot cards here. So yeah, guys, Six of Swords, transitions, movement, like I said. And by the way, guys, I don't look at any of these cards before the reading, this is very, impromptu in a way i just feel like my readings are more based upon intuition in that sense it forces me to so it usually turns out better but yeah guys transitions 2020 transitions um you guys are definitely going to be moving into a more peaceful place for some of you and others of you it's going to be in a better place whatever that means whatever that entails but whatever it is you guys are gonna be moving more towards yourself okay being more yourself and guys look at this i just noticed this 51 equals 6 15 equals 6 6 so 6 is very much being highlighted here guys um if it's into numerology or anything um 6 has to do with love compassion uh, self-nurturance um, there is also a bit hint of creativity in here um, but yeah you guys could be born six of the month six day or this is letting you guys know in um, what is that June there could be some significant event. it's gonna be a very significant month for you or the sixth day of any month is gonna be significant or six months from now, or six days from now, six weeks. I mean, this this six can mean anything, but that is a number that you guys should pay attention to. And maybe even your ancestor, right, um, communicates you through seeing um, double sixes, okay? Um, or triple sixes, for any say. But yeah. It'll be an interesting number to look out for, guys. 2020. That is your number. Number six. Oh, two of cups. So like I said, guys, six is about love, right? And we have two, two of chalices, two of cups, relationships. Beautiful. So 2020, guys, if you guys are not in a relationship, get ready. Okay, you guys might get into one. And this could be, you know, intimate relationship, but also it could just be, you know, a great connection. Um, just someone you vibe with on an emotional level where you are comfortable, okay? With the Two of Cups, I kind of see a Venn diagram, you know, where they overlap. Um, and they're, they're touching each other's um, central point. That's kind of like how I see the Two of Cups. And... Um, yeah, maybe you guys have just been scared to really take action towards a person for some of you um, or just even going into that love scene. In 2020, you guys can start to build that confidence to do that. But in order to do that, you got to know who you are, right? You got to go to the beat of your own drum and be yourself. So you are authentic when you are meeting people and in a relationship, you are being yourself. There is no oh, surprises, you know, when you, um, when the person discovers, you know, this about you or that about you, but whatever it is, you guys, abolish those fears in 2020, go find yourself, be yourself, your beautiful self, and make that transition um, into where you start to really, 
you know, start to connect on a more deeper emotional level. Um, you're not so guarded where you um, let your fears distance yourself from other people or that, you know, it just creates, you know, blockages or hinders you from that, okay? For making these beautiful connections. All right, so our last card here is death. Yes, transitions, 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 guys. Now, guys, don't be afraid of the death card here, especially in a predictive reading. Um, this is just talking about transitions and transformations. So, you know, with the jaguar here, I mean, this kind of just makes sense, right? Um, and Six of Swords. Um, this year is 2020. Um, you guys are definitely going to be... leaving some things behind but i feel like for most of you this is more an internal thing okay for those of you yes there could be some sort of ending in the external world but i really feel like this is more to do with um you you know shedding your skin your you know letting your ego die a bit uh and others of you this could be really be moving maybe you guys are thinking about moving somewhere um, a change of residence or a job. Um, but I do see majorly that there is a shift in that. Um, yeah, there is definitely, like I said, guys, momentum. 2020 is all about momentum, moving forward. So you need to leave things behind so you guys can step into what you want. And yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that was my reading for you guys, my group three clairs. Um, I hope this reading resonates you guys. And if you guys are new to uh, my channel, my videos, go ahead and subscribe and click that bell notification. Um, I always love a thumbs up, but even better, I really love your guys' comments, okay? So if you guys wanna share your thoughts on this reading, go ahead and um, yeah, let me know in, down below. Okay, so I send you guys off on 2020 um, with big love and peace. And I'll see you guys back for the next reading, all right? Take care, guys.